Now, when it comes to the shortage of places in care homes, half of the worst performing councils in the country are in London. And research shows that in the next five years, the situation is going to get even worse. It's estimated that by 2022, over 33,000 places will be needed. But if we look at current trends, less than 30,000 will be available. Well, Aisha Baksh has been speaking to a man who's already struggled to find a place for his mother. Gwen Thomas was a school teacher in her native Zimbabwe and loved to dance. She came to Britain to join her son Elridge and his family 20 years ago and spent her final years in care homes in North London, suffering from severe Alzheimer's. She was a true lady, she, my mother, and I think maybe that was also part of her demise. She, she, never, she wasn't confrontational, so she held everything back. and. And everybody would say, but she was a beautiful woman. She was a loving mother, a caring mother. Gwen's son claims it was a struggle to find her a decent place to live. And in one care home, he alleges she was neglected and abused. A lot of times she had bruises, unnecessary bruises, and they, they'd always have an excuse for it, always. That care home is no longer open. More recently, Gwen lived in another Haringey home where she was well looked after. Just a few streets away from Gwen's son is Osborne Grove in Finsbury Park. And this nursing home, also in the borough run by the council, is due to be closed down after the Care Quality Commission found it to be inadequate. New research from which magazine claims councils such as Haringey won't be able to provide enough care places for an ever-increasing ageing population. In Bracknell Forest, the predicted shortfall is 53%, the highest in the country. In London, Lewisham and Haringey, where Gwen lived, are close behind. Although in some areas there'll be a surplus, Bexley is predicted to have more places than it needs, along with Havering and Kingston. What we've got at the moment is a very sporadic approach to developing services. Of course, the other problems in London are the staffing. How do you get staff to, to be involved in these services? And also the issue about land prices, which make it extremely difficult to make services viable. Haringey Council said all local authorities' budgets are being squeezed, while the government says it's investing an extra £1 billion into social care. Aisha Baksh, BBC London News. Well, it's not since the